Wow. That's crazy. I am so excited to make this cake. If you know anything about me, you know that I absolutely love coffee. I start every day with coffee and often have a decaf coffee later in the day just because I really love the flavor of coffee and I love to enjoy it. And so this week I am making a replicate for Blues Brews Coffee Shop. They're a mobile coffee shop located in downtown Johnson City. And so I'm really excited to make this cake. I'm going to be replicating one of their drinks, their pumpkin white mocha. It's one of my favorite pumpkin drinks. If you've not had it, please go by and give it a try and tell them that you heard about it from us. So to start off this cake, I'm going to start by making the lid. And so I have a lid here that I've brushed with some cornstarch. And then I'm just using some fondant tools and I've laid a white piece of fondant over, and I'm going to work that in. The cornstarch is there just to keep this from sticking because we want this to be removable once it is dry. So I'm going to do this ahead of time before I start on the rest of the cake. That way that it is dry enough to place onto the cake. So I want this to be removable so that you can actually remove it and see the coffee cake inside. So it's going to be a really cool effect. I'm really excited about it. And so I'm just going to use some sculpting tools, go around and make these indentions. I'm, I'm filling the cup, the, the cup lid underneath. And so I'm just making sure that I incorporate all of those ridges and details, as well as, you know, using some smaller tools and I'll go in and indent and emboss into the cake, the, the lettering and things. So I just want to capture all of these details. Now, Blues Brews started just after the pandemic, and so a lot of the coffee shops had been closed, and being a bakery, we started doing lots of deliveries for people that were, you know, staying home, staying safe from, from the pandemic and from COVID, and so we were doing lots of driving, and I happened to drive up on them one day doing a delivery, and was like, oh, there's this new coffee shop that's it's mobile. This is a great idea because it felt really safe being outdoors and enjoying coffee. And so that, that's when I came to love Blues Brews. And now we can get on to stacking this cake. And so I've just cut rounds of cake out of some vanilla cake. And I'm going to stack this going from smallest to largest just to give that same effect of a tailored coffee cup. And so we're going to stack this, fill it with some buttercream, using vanilla buttercream and vanilla cake here. It's always a classic. People seem to love this combination, and so that would be a great thing because people love coffee as well. And so we're going to get just do four layers of cake here, get this stacked. I'm going to make sure that I measure this at this point because I want to make sure that I'm doing it the hot that I need for this ripple cake. I really want to make sure my proportions are correct so that it really mimics one of their true coffee cups. So I'm adding a skewer in this just so I can hold on to that while I'm icing this. Being a a thin, tall cake, sometimes they, those can lean or they can tip over while you're icing them. And so I'm just going to add that there for some stability. I can pull that out right before I finish off the coffee and pour that in there and put the lid on so this is going to be there throughout the decorating stages now i'm just using a, an offset spatula going around adding some buttercream going to smooth this down just to get the perfect crisp edges for adding this modeling chocolate in just a moment now i'm just using a bench scraper scraping this buttercream just so that there aren't any large lumps we'll be rolling the modeling chocolate pretty thinly and so we want to make sure that there aren't any large lumps or any gaps in this modeling chocolate and then we'll place this in the refrigerator to chill for a few moments while we roll out that modeling chocolate and get that ready and so we will roll some white modeling chocolate modeling chocolate is just 
some white chocolate that is mixed with some corn syrup. And so it creates this molding putty out of chocolate. And so it's really fun to work with and it tastes delicious. So once we've rolled that out, measured that to size, I'm just wrapping that around this chilled coffee cup cake. And we're going to trim that down and adhere it to the cake. I have a little bit of corn syrup that we have brushed that cake with so that we can add this molly chocolate and adhere it to it. Just trimming it all down, making sure everything is nice and even. And now we're going to move on and make the coffee sleeve. And so Blues Brews has a great cardboard-like coffee sleeve that they place around their cups just to keep it, you know, your hands protected from the heat and the warmth of the coffee and so there's this printed with their logo on it and so I've added a little bit of texture to mimic their actual sleeve and I have one here that I'm using just getting a little bit of an idea of size that I'm going to use to go in and hand paint this logo on so love their logo blues brews makes you feel like Blue's Clues, and, and my son loved watching that when he was little. So it, this is nostalgia, just like coffee drinking is for me. And so I'm just going in with some food color that I have diluted with some, some vodka, so it's just some clear vodka. I've got some royal blue, some black and gray. I even added just, just a hint of purple to that as I painted it. Once we get that, all painted we're going to go on and place this on to the cake and this is brown fondant so we want to work fairly quickly with this because it will dry out so we wrap that around adhering it to the cake using some corn syrup and then we will trim it down and start adding some of those fine details some of the creases and the seams that, that really stand out and make this look a little more realistic go in with a little tool and i'm going to flare out some of these edges of this sleeve so that it really does look realistic just like their sleeve looks and then now the really fun part i'm going to fill this with with an, a, a sort of a like an espresso art latte art design so i'm i'm using some Popping gel that I have dyed with some food color and I've, I've used some white food color in here just so it's less opaque that way that it looks a little more realistic and so I have some brown I have some white uh, popping gel that I am just just popping in here and to decorate it and now it's all done and we can add that lid that we created earlier onto this cake let's go take this to blue spruce Get a large comfy pot of Yes, please. Thank you. Tons of you requested that we do something for them, so I'm really excited to show them this. Hi, thanks so much. And I've got this one for you. Oh my god. Check this out. <laughs> Do you have a suggestion of what our next replica cake should be? If so, email us at cake.budge at yahoo.com with the subject line, replicate this. We can't wait to hear your suggestions and don't forget to subscribe.